Okay, hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, Mimi's Makeup. In this video, I'm gonna do like a really nice DIY project. And as you can see, I'm gonna do this thumb ring or um, the yarn ring that we use for like crochet or um, a knitting uh, projects, but mainly for crochet. I use it for crochet because you know, having the yarn around your fingers is really painful when you work for a long time or when the yarn is really rough. It really makes my finger really like screaming from pain. So, what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these because it's not easy to find in here. So, well, I decided to uh, like create them from the wire that I have always in my like um, accessory kit. I love doing like handmade and accessory stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to make this lovely ring. As you can see, there are different sizes. Um, I used to love um, work with this one big one, but when I made this really small one, it's really nice and as you can see, it's so beautiful. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just um, like fit enough for your fingers. So what I'm gonna do, uh, what I need for this video is this wire and as you can see I have this wire here. So um, like I have a really long piece of it but I'm not gonna use all of it of course but I'm just a small piece of it and of course I'm gonna need a like bend or something like as close as possible from your finger to like have the way around it and having a this lovely round shape and then you can resize it. So I'm gonna use this pen to like as a guide to make this circle or this ring and also we're gonna use um like a plier that can cut wire so we can cut when we reach the nice level doesn't matter if you want it big or you want it small just it depends on how much that you want so the first thing I'm gonna do is just have the yarn in. I'm gonna leave a little piece of it to make this small circle just right here which will have our yarn so I'm gonna leave it and then I'm gonna begin to wrap the wire around okay it really is showing up yep, like this okay like for several times take your time there the wire is really long one so you can just wrap it around just like this so, yep. I think I'm gonna make a small one. This is a four like times or so. Okay, so you can see. So for me, I guess that's enough for now. And now I'm gonna cut the wire with the wires. Just like this, I'm gonna leave that to the side. As you can see, I just used half of it, I guess. So. Yeah. So now what I'm doing is trying to cap everything, grab it together, and as you can see, look very nice and circular. For this part, I can just um, try to take it inside so it not hurt fingers. Just a bit. See like this? And yeah. See, it's a little bit like bigger for my finger because I have a really small finger. So what you usually do, just begin to like turn it just a little to make it fit my fingers. Okay, maybe this will help to hold it. And just wrap it around a little bit, just like this, and see. I guess it's nice. I don't know why it's really wide, not like the other ones, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter actually. Anyway, so it should be like this, right? As you can see, I have my small one and have it like this. So this needs to be go down a little bit more, <laughs> like this. And so what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna do this circular part to have my yarn in it. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna have this guide for me. Yeah. So. This one is just going down like this and I begin to like turn it to around just like, like really nice like circular thing just really slightly like this. I guess that's really good. I guess it's really good and really nice one. Um yeah. 
can make it you can make it smaller or larger okay for this opening you can make it smaller or larger but i'm gonna leave it like this because it's perfect for um thick yarn i guess and as you can see there's a gap here this is the gap where i'm gonna add my yarn through it so i'm gonna grab a yarn and i'm trying to resize it to fit my finger perfectly this one will fit here perfectly but because i have small this one is still good so i'm gonna give it a try as you can see looks so perfect for my finger for work so i'm gonna grab the brush that i'm working with right now just a moment to show you how to use this string so this is a smaller version that i usually use so i have like three wires four wires make a little bit more you can see it doesn't have to be perfect but just as you want okay this is the one that we made just right now so let's So, as you can see, this is the project I'm working on right now. Okay, lovely color. So, let's do it. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, focus. <laughs> so, this yarn is a little bit rough. So, if I do a lot of work like this, it will hurt my, my hands. So, this is really like finger saver for the paint. So, I just go normally like I do. And when I reach here, just... Grab that and add it inside. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Again. So here I go, just go like this. And, okay. Then the yarn just go in here. Right, that's. So it comes out from here, okay? It's a little bit wider. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger for my finger. That's why it just turned out. So what I'm doing, just work like I normally do. Like this and go to here and just work the normal work that I do. Okay, this one needed a little bit of adjustment, but as you can see here, okay, the yarn is completely away from my finger. It's so wide, that's why it turns. Okay, I'm gonna make it smaller, but as you can see, it's completely away from my finger, so my finger have the wire around it. And it's completely safe from the yarn so I can work as I want without feeling a pain in my finger okay I'm gonna switch it to my smaller one because um, it fits me perfectly until I make this like perfect for my finger okay okay this one is perfect for me you can see if it's perfectly and it's really nice and tight okay and then just go like this you just have it like I showed you before and begin to work like usually how I work like this again this and again like this and again like this and again like this and as you can see the work is pretty smooth pretty perfect and my finger is saved from the yarn, the yarn is completely away. I love this project so much because it really saved my finger. I'm trying to like resize this, make it smaller. Well, yeah, a little bit. So, let me just have these. Okay, that will help me to make everything. Yeah, I guess it's. Uh, yeah now it's pretty perfect for my finger let me see again so i resize it okay you can see so perfect and so beautiful and actually it doesn't cost anything uh, you can buy this from amazon of course but if you find it or you find it's expensive for you or you can find it where you live because I can't find it where I live so I really wanted to have this because I have a lot of crochet project going on so I always have these as you can see I have a lot because my cats love to <laughs> play with them so that's why I make a lot as you can see it doesn't cost anything I have the wire I have the pliers and have 
pen and just do them so this is for this project i really hope you like it and yeah if you did it please leave me know in the comment section down below if you find it and yeah as usual don't forget to comment like and subscribe and share the video with your friends if you like it and don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook all these links in the description box down below don't forget that blue button so you have a notification every time i upload a new video on my channel and i'm gonna see you soon in the next video i love you so much bye